Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com. Are you having trouble installing Studio 5000 because you don't have .NET Framework version 3.5 installed? Isn't that crazy? Well, if you are, I'm going to show you today the simple steps that you can take to actually install .NET Framework 3.5 so you can install Studio 5000 and get to doing your job and stop programming Allen Bradley programmable controllers. So with that said, let's go over to the computer. Okay, the first thing you want to do is open up the control panel. And once you get that open, you want to look for programs and features. Then when you open that up, you'll see there's a link there to turn Windows features on or off. So go ahead and select that. And when that pop-up loads, you want to find .NET 3.5, select it, and then click on OK. Now, if you're prompted to download the files from Windows Update, go ahead and do it. And then, uh, this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video here. And when everything's done and installed and ready, when you go to install Studio 5000 again, you'll see it installs without any issues now. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and a thumbs up. And if you have any questions for me about this or something else, feel free to ask me on my free forums theautomationforums.com. Now, if you'd like to support my work with a $1 pledge, you can do so over at patreon.com forward slash automation, or you can take one of my self-paced, easy to follow training courses over at theautomationschool.com. And with that, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.